What's up guys? It's Nico aka Neeks back with a brand new video and today I'm literally in bed. As you can see, I wanted to make this video- oh and look at my polar bear pajamas. I want to make this video literally just like if you were like FaceTiming me or we're just like kind of chatting one-on-one -on -one here, but I have a really crazy story time for you guys. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I met SZA and I'm gonna go in a full in-depth kind of story time. So I've been a huge SZA fan for the last like six-ish years. I first kind of like knew about her when she did the song Consideration with Rihanna and obviously when Control came out my love for her just grew so huge. But with that being said, back in 2016 when she was releasing Control, she announced she was going to be going on tour. The tour date announcement was either right before Control dropped or right after it dropped. So yes, she was very famous, but she wasn't like famous enough for like the general public to go and run to buy a concert ticket. So it was like very, very, very close either before or after the album dropped. And I was like, you know what? I see she's going to Montreal. I live roughly two hours from Montreal. Let's buy a ticket. The tickets were like $20. And I was like, okay, like let me check the meet and greet tickets. And the meet and greet plus the concert ticket was only $98 in total. I was like, okay, this is literally a no brainer. I'm gonna buy the concert ticket with the meet and greet, meet SZA, have my life be complete and do the damn thing. So with that being said, I bought the meet and greet ticket with the concert ticket and awaited my SZA concert and meet and greet. So I have family in Montreal, so my mom drove me to the um, city of Montreal and she dropped me off at the concert. So I feel like my spotter is looking weird in this camera right now. Anyways, I forgot to mention I only bought one concert ticket. Again, she wasn't that famous at all, so like nobody I knew also knew who she was. So I was like, let me just do a little solo concert moment. So my mom drops me off and the lineup was like first come first serve. It was a very, very, very small venue in Montreal where there were like no seats. It was all just like whoever was in line first got into the venue first. So I would say I was maybe like a hundred people back in line. I got there maybe like four hours five hours before the concert was gonna start. I would say I was maybe like a hundred in line and behind me may have been like 600 people. The line like went down the block, turned, like it was a long, long line. Well, not that long, but it seemed long in retrospect. So the time gets closer and closer to the start time of the concert and Everyone was under the impression that the meet and greet was gonna happen before the show. I feel like it's always like hit or miss. Like some concerts do meet and greet before, some do after, so we were all kind of unsure. At this point, SZA had canceled, I think, two shows before Montreal, so we were kind of all like, scared it was gonna be canceled, but it seemed to be going fine because we heard a sound check from inside. So again, we're waiting, 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 and then we hear screams coming from the end of the line. Mind you, it was down the block and it turned to the right so we couldn't see what was going on. We hear fans like screaming, like, oh my God, screaming, screaming, screaming. We're like, what the hell is going on? So we're looking, we have no idea what's happening. And then we see like five security guards, like kind of like jogging down the street with SZA walking by the line. So I see this gorgeous little doll. She's like running by the line, like waving hi, waving hi, but like not stopping for any selfies, like not stopping. It was a quick, quick like, hello, like sorry for being late kind of thing. Like just running by the line saying hi. Here's where this story gets so unbelievable. Now, if I did not have this on video, nobody would have believed me. So SZA is running, bolting by this damn line, just waving but running past. Then, obviously, I'm like saying, hi, I love you. She sees me in line. Mind you, I've never met this woman before. I was not like a big like fan on social media that she would have known I was literally a stranger. She sees me in line, puts her arms out, stops, runs towards me, gives me a hug, and then I ask her, I'm like, is the mean grace still happening? Because in my mind, like this was gonna be her like substitute, I guess, for a meet and greet, just to come out and say hi. But then she was like, 
no, it'll be after the show, but I was just coming to say hi before. And I'm like, I love you so much, I love you. I'm gonna insert the clip right now. <laughs> Guys, thank God the stranger behind me was filming because like I I wouldn't have even had recollection because I feel like in that moment I just blacked out. After she gets back in fine, everyone's like, what the hell was that? Like, do you know her? I'm like, I don't know how the hell that just happened. I was flabbergasted. I was bamboozled. I was just so shook. So after that whole thing happened, we go inside, the concert starts, the concert is fantastic. I love how I saw her in a very like low-key time of her career, kind of just like right before she blew up. It was so intimate, it was a smaller crowd, she was so interactive with the audience. It was amazing. So the concert ends and now it's time to meet the queen. So there were maybe 75 meet and greet tickets. It was a very, very short lineup. And I could see like, you could see the meet and greets happening when you were in line. So like, you could see her taking her time with the people, like not like a, like a pose and then next. It was giving like a, how are you? Thank you for coming, etc., etc. So when it comes to my turn, I mean, I had already met her. So it was like, you know, I was so like nervous and like happy, but I was like, kind of like more chill. But I was like, hi, like, do you remember me? She was like, of course I remember you. I stopped for you in line and gave you a hug. And I was like, oh my god, like, oh my, I can't believe it. She was like, yeah, I just like saw you, like could feel your energy and I needed to come and like hug you. And I was like, bitch, like, I had no idea what to say. She was like, what's your name? I was like, it's Nico. She was like, wow, such a pretty name. We took the photo. And then I was like, if you're ever in Montreal or in Canada again, I want to come and see you. Um, like, thank you for being like such a fantastic, like genuine amazing human being. The content was amazing. I love you so much. And that was that. Here's the photo. This photo is so cute and like, I see it and so does everybody else. But like, why do we low-key look like siblings? It's giving like same nose, same smile, same eyes. Like, was I switched at birth from Zaza? After the concert, I was just like, thinking like what even is my life right now not a scissor running by an entire a whole venue of people seeing me only me stopping for me hugging me and talking to me it is it made me feel so special and it was just so nice to know that one of my favorite artists like took the time out of her day and like guys i felt special imagine like only stopping for one person and that one person be you. But anyways, guys, that's the story of me meeting SZA. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you can see SZA in, oh my God, I forgot to mention, I also saw her in concert in London, England in July, 2022 of this year. Um, but this whole thing happened in 2017. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe for daily daily videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!